I am uh, Dr. Morgan Bresnik. I am a general, minimally invasive, and bariatric surgeon here. And I really went into the field of bariatric surgery because we really make a difference in patients' lives for the long term. It's unlike doing a, a traditional general surgery case like a hernia or a gallbladder where you may see a patient once postoperatively check on them, they're doing well, but then there's no real relationship ongoing. With weight loss surgery, it's much more than just the surgery. And entering our program is more like entering a family where there's support from the very beginning. You know, we try and make the whole process as straightforward and easy to navigate uh, as we can. And that, I think, sets us apart from some other programs is the ease in navigation in our system and how open and friendly everybody is in our, our group. Now, what we found is that from studies, 90 to 95 percent of people are not able to achieve long-term weight loss with any non-operative means. So lots of people can have short-term weight loss success with dieting programs um, or, or other modalities, but what we find is that after those programs, they gain back the weight in almost all instances. And oftentimes, they gain back more weight than they lost in the first place. With weight loss surgery, that is not the case. Most people are able to lose weight and maintain that weight loss in the long term. The weight loss is just a number on the scale. It's all of the other effects on the body. So it's a reduction in blood pressure, in cholesterol levels, uh, which all lead to a decreased risk of heart disease, of heart attacks, of strokes, all of those. Or better blood sugar control, so decreasing diabetes. Um, joint pain, which is a common problem in our patients. All that extra weight causes joint pain, and that uh, improves significantly after surgery. The most satisfaction is when I see people back at their six month, one year, five year appointments coming in just for a, a hello, and they tell me about all the great things that they're doing now with their lives, that they are traveling and they're uh, active in, in things that they never would have thought they would be able to do before surgery. That's the most satisfying.